tackling every opportunity to make something that's going wrong right. Better go bank it. A Haines City family rented a car from Hertz for the weekend. And it was confiscated by police. Sylvester King says he felt like a criminal as police searched the car after they discovered the tag was for another car. And then he was charged the full fee, $420. That's when he knew he'd better call Bankin and Maine. Your side investigator Shannon Bankin joining us now because you got some results for us. We did. And for him. We did get results, but this was a real terrifying experience for this family. They were left on the side of the road and they couldn't reach anyone with the company to take care of this charge. It was just Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And Sylvester we King rented this 2019 Camaro for a weekend getaway with his nephew and his buddies. They were going to, you know, take like a little vacation before they go to college. Just hours into their trip, they were pulled over by Henry County Sheriff's deputies. The tag on the Camaro they had just rented at Hertz in Orlando was actually registered to another car. They checked the car to make sure there was no drugs in the car, anything like that. You know, that's what the police do. That's their job. But then we had people looking at us, driving by. That was so embarrassing. You know, I mean, people were looking by, shaking their head. Deputies confiscated the Camaro, and they had to call friends to come pick them up. So you're in the middle of your vacation. You haven't even made it to your <laughs> destination yet. yet. And then you're just left stranded on just the side of the road. Just left stranded. What was Hurt's explanation for how the wrong tag was on the car that you were driving. They didn't have no explanation. Then, days later, he found this charge on his credit card, $420.37. Why would you charge me for something that you put me in danger and also you didn't care about what happened to me and you still going to charge me? Sylvester tells me no one from Hertz returned his repeated phone calls. That's when he knew he'd better call Bankin. So I cut to the chase and called corporate. Assure him that he will not have to pay this charge for a car that he was unable to enjoy that weekend. A Hertz spokeswoman looked into this right away and sent me this statement. We sincerely regret the experience that Mr. King had while renting our vehicle. We are investigating to see what led to this rare and unfortunate situation. In an effort to make this right with Mr. King, we have extended our apologies and have refunded the amount of his rental and offered him an additional $250. Sylvester tells me a Hertz representative called him to apologize and he's thrilled to get his refund and the extra 250 bucks. But most importantly, he tells me he hopes that this never happens to anyone else. And do we still yeah. not really understand how it happened in the first place? Did he rent the right car? Well, Hertz is investigating that, but we do know that he did rent the right car because the tag, the wrong tag, also belonged to Hertz. So it appears that an employee just somehow made a mistake. Wrong but they're investigating. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank if you, you have a problem with Eve Sullivan, you better call Bank in the telephone number 1-855-BECKON.